Welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we are very happy to see you here today. We're working on block 11 of our 2017 Christmas quilt and we're almost there. The light is at the end of the tunnel. We're almost there. This one is kind of a long one, so go grab your cup of tea and a snack or something like that, maybe some toast or, you know, muffin, and uh, just kind of tuck in. So, we're going to build two houses. I've built one already, uh, and it represents my house. And this house here, which we're going to build, is your house. So, the name of the block is a long, interesting one, <laughs> as you will see. It's one big, long, interesting block, as you will, you, you will, you will understand. It's called From My House to Yours, okay? So this is my house. Of course, it's got snow. And this is your house, which mostly has grass, because <laughs> not everybody's in the north. So anyways, we're going to build this out. So that's the one, one house we built. This is the second house. I chose to just kind of uh, prep some of the pieces already. And I did my half square triangles, which is all the little pattern information doodads will be in the show more. So it's a very easy one I found free, had all the measurements right here. Of course, this is a three and a half uh, half square triangle and the rest is pretty much, uh, you know, says it right there what you need to cut. It ends up being a nine and a half by, was it nine and a half by nine and a half? Yes, nine and a half by nine and a half block, okay? So you need to make two of those, whichever ways you want to make them. I'd like to thank Pat for her uh, beautiful brick fabric that she sent in her gift box. And we thought it would make a fantastic addition to our quilt in these little houses that we are building, okay? So you can do it in the sections. There's one section here, you know, another section there. So let's build this first. This is my door in the side of my house or the side of the house, well, side of your house, uh, beside the door. I chose to give you a blue door. I gave me a green door. Oh. I just wanted, really wanted some bright colors to stand out. So we'll sew a couple pieces together and then we'll press. Okay. And hopefully you like this long, beautiful block. It is going to go down the length of one side of the quilt once you get the other blocks finished and put together. Each block measuring 13 and a half. Okay. Two. Press the press. Okay. So I have that correct. Yes, I do. All right. So we'll add the little window to the bottom of the house there to the lower part. And then we'll add that to the side of the house and then to next to that part. <clears throat> And no craziness on the sewing machine. <coughs> I left it from, <laughs> I had sewing students here, so I was, I was actually putting binding on this uh, big kind of kids heirloom quilt I've been making of the kids' clothes. And I was like, why is it stitching so slow? And I'm like, all right, kids were here last night. <laughs> kids, kids were sewing. Okay, make sure I'm doing that right. Yes, it is. I'm sewing it onto the little bit of a bigger chunk of brick. I mean, if you got a uh, uh, brick house stuff or, you know, brick fabric like this, then go ahead and use it. Why not? This is the time to use it, right? It was either this or I was doing some Wizard of the Oz theme because, you know, with the yellow brick road. So, <laughs> and I still might because there's lots there. She sent me quite a bit. We had a fantastic time with Angie. She was here for three days and we loved every single moment of it. She is such a blast to hang out with. Such a fountain of information too. She helped me out with quite a few things with the long arm and, um, and even, even the regular sewing machine. So, so very much appreciated. Good company. All right, so I'm just adding the top part of the kind of the house bit right here. I've added this whole row right there. Now I'm adding this and then I'll have to add those sides on before I end up doing my roof, okay? Because other than that, they won't add up, okay? I am getting a little low on the bobbin, but I have like two already filled and ready to rock, so. Okay. Beautiful, I love this little house. I hope you're liking your house. Is it coming to paint? Hey, 
Want to come over for a visit? <laughs> All right, so we'll add these two on. And of course, I chose to give the, um, the Your House more of just a blue sky with some leaves and some squirrels and stuff. And I gave me some snow because that's what happens here. Snow in the great white north. Where you freeze your nose and you freeze your toes in the great white north. <laughs> If nobody's ever heard of Bob and Doug McKenzie, look them up. <laughs> you get some chuckles, I assure you. <laughs> do it right. There's our little sides. It's kind of I tried to do both in the in the night around the houses, anyways. So. Okay, there we go. That's looking good. Okay, so we'll build our roof. We'll add the half squares to either side. I'm just going to turn it around here because I really don't want to get a wonky roof. Okay, make sure this is my three and a half by three and a half. Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll just add it to either side. And of course, I had some really neat um, uh, green fabric, scrappy bits from Joe Maurice, and I just, it looked to me like little shingles sort of thing, so I thought, oh, that's kind of cute, a little, why not? Why not? Think of maybe something you might not have used, or you think of it in a different way, right? Okay, so add the other side, and then we'll press it. Very excited to be getting to the end of this. That's for sure. Not the end. Not, not, you know what I mean? Just finishing this project is what I mean. And then so we can start the next one. Which the next one, I don't know what we're doing. I think we're doing the scrappy. We're doing the, we'll have to do some other stuff with it though, you know. Or maybe that's the live stream. So, okay, so let's put the top on our house. Put the roof on. Do do do. Let's raise the roof. Oop, oop. It's less than three weeks till Christmas vacation, so you know. All the kids are getting excited. One kid's got to count down to spring vacation. I go, what, you miss Christmas? <gasps> I go, that's fucking three weeks, buddy. <laughs> I think I surprised him. <laughs> we were just both so excited it was Friday. <laughs> when it was Friday. Okay, now this goes on the top and not the bottom, which I made the mistake with this one. And therefore, Seam Ripper superhero Shazam came to the rescue. <laughs> Thanks, Pop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he almost became a devil Shazam. <laughs> Too funny. Thank you for saving my bacon, Pop. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Too funny. Oh, the fun. Okay, now we just need to put our the green, green grass home on. There we go. So let's give that a little press. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of this greeny fabric on the bottom. If you have grass fabric or... Um, I don't know, maybe bushes or trees or I don't know, whatever. You can use a bit of that on the bottom. That's completely up to you. It's kind of just kind of representing your front yard sort of thing, you know. Okay, now we'll give that a press and that'll be my house and your house done. I hope you don't got your lights up. I do. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. I love your house. I'm coming over for tea. So prep, okay? Earl Grey. I like it. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so there's the two houses that we need. Now, 
Two represent the two areas, of course, as you well saw, on the bottom I have snow and on this one I have green grass. So we wanted to, we'll just move these two little things off to the side here because you'll see what we're doing on here. Uh, we made a path. So we have a path on the snow and we have a path on the grass where this horse with its sled, I still have to cut the sled out, so let's do that right now so you can see it. And Clive wants his TV time. What's up, buddy? What's up? Ring? And we'll just cut the little sled out. And you'll see. And we just use the heat and bond for this, just to, because, you know, this, this quilt is not going to get... Hi, buddy. Hi. You want to come say hi to the peoples? Let me cut the sled out and you come say hi to the peoples. You got a sleepy face on where you're napping. Where are you napping on Mama's batting? <laughs> Where'd you go? I can't see you. Hello? All right, you're lost. Okay, so here's the sled, and then here is the bottom, uh, the ra ra rails for the sled, and then you, well, we're going to put it this way, but nonetheless, just so you can see it on the camera here, this is how we worked it out. And then we're going to add string or... Um, um, yarn to make it so it looks like it's attached together and then uh, you know you can put a couple presents in here you can do whatever you like you can fill it with you know a couple little stick people with their arms in the air going sledding whatever whatever it's completely up to you so we'll put those two three little things off to the side we need to stitch down the rest of the path on the grass because I've just did, did a straight stitch right next to the edge where's he I don't want to run over him I don't know. Okay, just doing a straight stitch. Oh, let's put the house over here. And then we're going to add this little row of tree fabric, which you can just, you can add whatever you like, a strip of blue, a strip of green, a strip of blue and green, whatever. It's two inches. Yeah, it's two inches wide. And you can either add it on the side that's attached to the rest of the blocks or on the outside, which is going to be attached to the binding. Okay, so it's up, it's up to you, whichever way you want it. Okay, and I chose two different colored fabrics to represent my different roads. I've got gray for the snow and then brown for the green. So, or paths, you know, sort of thing. And my idea was to try and place the sled and the horses right in the middle section here, traveling between the two zones. Okay, don't sew over your pins. Your machine does not like it. We've had so much fun with this Christmas quilt. I mean, we had a lot of fun with the last one, too. But it's so much more fun having everybody else kind of partaking and making comments and sharing their pictures of what they're working on and stuff like that. Last year, it was very solitary. It was very lonely. <laughs> it wasn't a lot. <laughs> it wasn't a lot of viewers. But we're happy you're there. Trust me, we're very happy you're there. The winner has been drawn and contacted via YouTube Messenger or message how you talk to each other via YouTube. So please check your messages on YouTube to see if you have one. Um, we have not heard back from them as of yet. Uh, for this is Shazam shirt. Sorry, this is what this is for. This Shazam shirt from the Laurelin's birthday bash with Angie. Oh my gosh, big hugs to Angie. Love Angie. Love her. What you mean, Mimik? It went by so fast. It was kind of sad that it goes by so fast. You know what I mean? You know, because you're having such a good time. You're like, wait a second, it's that time already? You know? So, all right, so here's the pass from, you know, pretty much we'll go north and south. How's that? North and south, we'll just classify it as that. We need to add our tree. I'm going to add my trees to the uh, outside where the border is going to be because I want all my blocks to kind of stick together this way. So I'm going to have all my other blocks attached to the side. So I'm going to attach this part of my tree up here. And then when we come back, to, uh, we'll flip this over and then we should be able to attach this over here. Hopefully, if my measurements were correct, we should be able to attach the bottom and the top houses um, together to, the, to this little strip here. This ends up being, I cut each section, like I cut the white at, um, hold on, 
let's get it right here, eight inches and then 20 inches. So eight by 20, both for the white and the green. I did the same for what I was using as the road and then just did a little curvature. But when I laid it out, I made sure that these two were together overlapped a quarter of an inch to simulate the quarter of an inch seam allowance that I was going to have to stitch down to keep them in between here, okay? So think of that when you're laying your road out or path out, whichever way you wanna do, okay? Just a note. Because you wanna make sure that they're lining up at that intersection sort of thing, okay? And of course, if you have any directional fabric, like this trees, make sure it's going in the right direction. You know, it's not upside down or it's not sideways or whatever. Unless you want it sideways, you know. It's your quilt. It's your Christmas quilt. I can't wait for it to hang up. Actually, I can't wait for us to long arm it. That'll have, that will definitely be a long arm Wednesday once we get, get all the last, the last block attached. We'll have <clears throat> one more big block, one more uh, 13 and a half by 13 and a half block. And then we have a couple of little, I don't know, what you think more sweet treat add-ons there, Pop? Yeah, there, there we go. Another, a couple sweet treat add-ons that you can put pretty much wherever you want because you're gonna applique them down, okay? So you pick spot and go for it. Okay. And I also have, I wanted to show you here, I have about a yard of, uh, this is what is going to be my accent fabric around some of those squares that are not 13 and a half by 13 and a half. So I will cut that to whichever way I want to put it, whether it's going to stick it in the corner and just two little strips, or I'm going to border around each side, whatever it is it's going to be, is just going to be filled in in those little little spots to, to, to fill up the block to make it what it needs to be. So I should have more than enough of this. If I happen to run out, I, I know white would go with this, gray would go with this, a blue would go with this. It doesn't really matter. So that's my choice. Uh, I, I had it here. Actually, it was a donation from, from Angie, and I really thought it would be really kind of cool with this project because of the way it looked with the snowy feel to it and stuff so okay so we added that let's even this up here I knew I cut it a little long I just wanted to make sure that I'd rather have it a little too long than too short let's press that open this is kind of like my little representation of the mountain ridge that connects us all together you know we're we're all part, we're all part of the same big world, right? There we go, isn't that lovely? I like that. Here, I'll hold it up this way so you can actually see it a bit better. There we go, beautiful. All right, let's put some houses on. Okay, so my house is up here and that should add up. Oh, look it, there we go. See, somebody was doing something right. <laughs> okay, now we'll put that together. If you want, pop a pin or two in right at where you need to be seam to seam or edge to edge. You know, one corner of two, one. And then when you're putting in this, the lower house, when you're putting in your house, you're gonna put it so it's this way. You're still gonna put this way. You're not gonna put it so it's upside down, right? So I, so I probably did that wrong, but that's okay. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. Or do we put it in it's upside down? What does Pop say? We'll see what looks better. How's that? We'll see what looks better. Okay, so let's press this. There we go. Cool. Get it? North? Cool. <laughs> and the great white north. <laughs> okay, so my idea when I first thought of this was to put it this way. And then I thought, well, no, we should probably put it that way. And then I'm like, no. That way makes more sense. So that's the way it's gonna go. Okay. Even though it looks like your house is upside down. But you're down under anyways. No, okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Just think, if it's laid on your lap, your house would be straight and my house would be upside down. There we go, see? <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I hope you like this block. We're almost done. We just got to put the uh, horse <clears throat> sleigh and its little rails on. Okay. See how calm and slow I'm going? Looking forward to tomorrow's live stream. We're going to finish off our our version of this tree um, wall hanging or lap quilt. Um, Pop says it's a lap quilt, so we'll make sure we're going to border it up to be a lap quilt. Okay, I'm going to hold this up sideways so you can see it. For some reason, got a little. For some reason, your house has a snake. I don't know why. <laughs> your house has a snake. I'm not going there. No, I'm kidding. What do you think of that? Isn't that cute? Love it. So it's going to hit. Go like this across the length of the 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 quilt. Okay. So now we need to put in the horse. Oops, trimmer, please. There we go. Trimmer, trimmer, trims with the extra threads. And because it's going from my house to yours, I want him going this way. Okay. And it doesn't matter that he's on the outside of the quilt. It, it, to me, it's I. This is the way I want him to go. Okay. So he's traveling. I'll make it sure he's like you know half and half, halfway in between. Maybe they're at a pit stop. <laughs> Take that out of the way. And then you just pin this where you want it and give it a good press. And you can, um, like I said, I have sequins, I have beads, I have um, uh, embroidery floss, I have all sorts of different things that I can help accent this quilt once it's quilted up on, off, off the long arm. Like, uh, you know, uh, little lights around the windows and, you know, rope around the horse and the sled and all sorts of fun stuff. I mean, the imagination is really, you know, it's only going to hold you back, right? So you can think of all sorts of things. So we're just going to peel this little sticky stuff off there for the heat and bond. Do, do, do. And Angie gave me a bunch when she came here for our project, for the Shazayam project. Actually, it helps if you actually put the sleigh on the path. Doesn't that make sense? There we go. Okay, make sure you leave enough. Don't put your horse all the way up here. He's going to get his ears chopped off and he won't be in, he'll be really completely part of the quilt. There we go. Make sure you have enough for a seam allowance. Okay. You can even pull them back a little bit if you need to. Just figure out your placement. Figure out where your placement, where you want it. Stick a pin in it until you can get to the iron and uh, get it stuck down, okay? It's easy to peel off. Just kind of fold a little edge. Take your time. The sticky stuff really makes one with the fabric, so it's not going to rip on you. You know, one would think, oh, it's, I'm going to rip the fabric if it's so tiny and it's, you know, it's going to move away on me, but it's not really. Does that look okay, Pop? Yeah? And you can always refer back to the picture to make sure you're thinking, okay, yeah, is that, that's lining up. That's about where it needs to be. It's not like back here and it's not up there and, you know, just kind of, kind of use the little picture for reference. Give it a little space. Like I say, you can put a little red bag in there, make it as a, uh, as a Santa sack. You know, I'm just figuring we're, you know, we're just going for a ride. Put a couple of snowmans in there. Those stick people. A couple of hats. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh. I wasn't sure, <clears throat> sure how that was going to work, considering the horse was a bit intricate to cut out. All right, so we'll make sure he's walking on the path. Okay. How's that? I think that looks pretty good. Okay, pop a pin or two in till you can get it to the presser. Okay. okay hold on, I'm just gonna make sure. Yep, yeah, okay, I do like that. Just wanna give it more of a, a view on look. So, you know, don't be afraid to get up and stand at your project or put it on the wall or ask someone else's opinion and, you know, just don't be grabbing a stranger off the street. They think you're weird. <laughs> they don't care what you've got going on. they got stuff to do. <laughs> okay, so there it is. We like. That's where we're going to press it. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to come up just a little bit more. These little rails weren't hitting in the path. I want to make sure it does. Okay. There we go. That's a bit better. All right. Do... 
that first. Oh, way to go. Hold on. Best of intentions did not work. Let's do one at a time. There we go. One, two, three. Let's place this one where it needs to be. And then another one, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get a little bit of the horse. Let me move his feet first, and then I'll take the pin out. And that way, at least I know he's stabilized at that point, and then come in and press the rest of it. Okay. Okay, there we go. And that's our block. From my our house to yours. There we go. And the secret word is they, T-H-E-Y. Hopefully they bring some goodies your way. <laughs> there we go. One more to go, and then a Christmas quilt is done, and then you guys can start entering your words into getting a chance to win one of the two tree skirts or the lap quilt or fat quarters from the quilt shop. And I just got like four big, four, no, five? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more bolts of fabric in the shop. So you have more to choose from. Aren't you lucky? Have a great day, everybody. And we'll see you tomorrow for the live stream. See you later. From our house to yours block. Take care. Yes, Mike's going, let's go, rock and roll, let's po po yo yo, Dinkledorf and yo yo yo's. Might change the window. I'm fine, I'm fine, the window's fine. From my house to yours, and their house to mine, they better be bringing some cookies. They, T-H-E-Y. How's that? <laughs>